and welcome. It is my pleasure today to introduce to all of you Nishi Dhiman, all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Nishi ji, welcome to Lokwani. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Nishi, and uh, as I'm so thankful to Jarna ji, to Ranjini ji for inviting me for this interview, and I'm so thankful for uh, my what my contribution to the Ekal Vidyalaya. Oh, that's so nice of you. And I want to let everybody know that Nishi ji is actually an uh, engineer by profession. She has a master's in electrical engineering, in industrial design and controls. And, uh, but her passion is in the arts and she paints on different kinds of mediums. She has quite a bit of expertise. And for the past three years, she's been teaching art. Uh, to children. And she loves, I think, teaching as well is a big passion for her. And um, really, again, uh, Nishiji, thank you for becoming an Ekal Indie Art Ambassador. Um, Ekal Vidyalaya is an organization that brings education and empowerment to over 100,000 rural remote villages. And Indie Art is an art competition that has been put together to promote creativity amongst students in the US, while at the same time bringing digital literacy to India. So, and people like the wonderful artists like Nishiji are part of our Indie Ekal Ambassador uh, core who have been giving their time generously to offer workshops to support our students and make Indie art a bigger effort. So, Nishiji, this was so interesting to hear from you that you didn't start out as an artist. So, where was art? Was it there in your childhood? And how did you become an engineer? And how did you become an artist? <laughs> Yeah, art was like, uh, you can say it was a building in the like a depth of my heart. So when we were, uh, me and my brother, when we were kids and we used to do like in, in our free time, we used to draw, we used to paint, we used to do a lot of watercolor paintings. And then, so you can say like, uh, it was in my, in, inside me, uh, but uh, you know, like Indian parents, they are like, uh, they don't want their kids to be, uh, to go into art stream. And uh, so uh, I started, I mean, uh, I did my engineering and, um, but art was still inside me. And whenever I got time uh, from free from my studies or in my vacation, so I used to continue my hobby, my interest, my passion. Wow, that is really great. So just through the childhood, just by yourself, you started picking up colors and through competitions that probably motivated you a little bit to do more. And, um, and of course, and then there was engineering that came in. So I'm always curious about women engineers. You know, when I went to engineering school, there were very few women engineers and it was a rarity or an oddity. How was it during your time? And you studied electrical engineering and where did you study it? Yeah, I did my electrical engineering from Bathinda. There's a college, Gyani Jal Singh Engineering College. And uh, at the time, there was quite a number of uh, girls in my class. So there were around, uh, I mean, uh, 12 to 13 girls in my class. So we had a tough competitions with the boys. And <laughs> yeah, so uh, this great. was... And I think the girls did better probably all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Girls, girls are so hardworking, right? They, <laughs> Uh, they do everything with like uh, with interest with passion so yeah 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 i remember in one of my classes you know i didn't do my homework as well as the boys but uh, they they gave me the the professor gave me a better grade he said because i was the only original answer in the class because all the boys had copied each other's grade <laughs> so he said, yeah. you know you put your own effort and you did it very sincerely so I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, so I think it was interesting. But of course, there are many, many talented boys who do great job. And I think they go on later to understand yeah. the greatness of uh, engineering. And they have been you know, great engineers all the time. So now you came to the US and uh, jumped back into, and were you working as a uh, female engineer or just straight yeah, away? Yeah, like uh, I was working as an assistant professor in engineering college. Ah. In and I worked around like four years. And uh, uh, then we moved uh, here after marriage, we moved uh, to US. 
uh, and my kids were small and so i started uh, i and actually i went to michaels michaels is like a heaven for me for every artist every artist can relate to it you know i don't know how many women have told me that that they yeah. came to america they didn't know what to do and they yeah. found michaels <laughs> yeah and found michaels it was like they found god you know yes, yes. <laughs> i say i found natra lord natraja they found michaels <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they are like i again big picked up my brushes and canvas and started painting and then i felt like uh, it's just like a energy booster for me you can say like a, it is a stress buster so whenever i paint i feel i gain energy rather than being stressed so it relieves all my stress and uh, it's like a meditation for me and uh, when i paint i don't know like how, how many hours i am painting people ask me like how many hours uh, did you take to do this painting i say i never count the hours i never <laughs> i just keep on working so it's like a prayer for me and uh, so this is what i feel about art oh that's yeah. wonderful and then you started teaching it yes then i started teaching then i thought like why not to give back to the society right to the community so whatever talent i have i thought to give it back to the kids those who those i mean all those i mean so i am mostly doing the indian kind of kind of art so why not to give these tradition traditional art thing to the kids so that they also know about ganesh ji about radha krishna and so uh, these are most of the paintings which i do uh, but i teach them like uh, from basic every everything i teach landscape everything so uh, that's why i started the classes and i feel so happy when the when kids uh, show their creativity and they want to learn art different kind of arts right so, yeah that is the that was the main reason you know i always uh, very very fascinated when i see um, you know artists like yourself paint uh, divine images you know that of lord ganesha or lord you know krishna and radha you know for most of us you know the first introduction to divinity comes through paintings right it is yeah. raja ravi verma's uh, paintings of uh, saraswati and lakshmi is what is embedded in our mind as this is how saraswati must look right yeah. so how do you you know envision that divine energy and how do you represent that in your own way like is it a challenge or how do you think about it because it's a big 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 uh, opportunity there right so yeah uh, see uh, when, whenever i do a painting i feel it like it's coming out from my heart right from my thoughts what i think like uh, I, i i tell everyone like i don't uh, set up a limit like these days i have to finish this i don't set, do that because i work from my heart and i put my thoughts in that i want like whenever i see that there there a feeling of uh, spirituality comes inside mm -hmm. so if you will see i have a radha krishna painting when you see them you will feel like something really devotional in in them and so this is the thought process which which i go through when i paint and why divine images why do you focus on them a lot yeah i don't know it gives me so much peace of mind so that's why i i do those <laughs> that's that's really wonderful and we are grateful to all of you artists who do that because it's the best ways for us to connect to divinity yeah. so i really appreciate it but of course i mean this um, the picture behind me the peacock you know i think um, i always wondered you know when an engineer starts painting do you, does the engineering influence the painting or does the painting head influence engineering you know do you have a thought on that yeah so uh, uh, when i do a painting so first is the sketching i tell everyone right if you will do sketching right you will be able to paint like anything except the abstract abstract painting so uh, if you are into a fine painting kind of thing so you can you will be able to draw it properly in correct proportions so that's why where my engineering is contributing to the art and uh, the other if you say the opposite of this art makes you so much creative you i mean it makes your thinking critical you think creative ideas and your thinking becomes so critical and uh, you i mean uh, you choose your own way to draw the things so that's why uh, both i feel both are 
correlated correlated that's excellent yeah. excellent i see very this this peacock was so proportional and so beautiful so i think this beauty in both ways one is not to do things and just go abstract and the other yeah. is to have the definition and the care and um, you know, I think both have their own beauty and I, I really appreciate the fine detail that you have and a lot of texture. So how do you define your art form? Um, it looks like you love to do some textures. Right. I love to do textures. I, I try to add like 3D effect to the paintings. And uh, one, I mean, there are so many ways to add texture to the painting. So my paintings will have definitely have a texture in that uh, either it is a like a, a glitter or i add some gemstones to them and uh, when i do like uh, uh, epo epoxy resin painting it has i'll add some like gems or some stones to them to give to give out a feeling like when you touch it you can feel it oh. so this is my style of style so yeah. touch and feel not just in the heart but even the other dimensions of it so yeah. you allow people to touch your painting so that's <laughs> that is really really beautiful so now tell us uh, why acre uh, for you and why indie art why did you decide to give your time for that yeah actually i i mean i was looking for uh, to work to contribute whatever in my own way to some good cause and uh, when I came to know about Ekal Vidyalaya, I was like, wow, this is what I can do, right? This is what I can give back to the society. So this is what I am good at. So that's why I uh, decided to join and uh, contribute in whatever way I can for Ekal. Oh, we so, so appreciate you doing that. And, uh, you know, it, it's interesting. I think uh, I was thinking about your, the point about spirituality that you brought up when you're painting, you know, I think... Uh, you know, giving back is a very, very big spiritual exercise as well. And I think karma yoga is, is, is always, you know, a very, very beautiful thing. And it appears to me that when, you know, I, I was reading this thing on Kashmiri Sadism where it said, I think there are 122 ways they define meditation. And I, you know, obviously you think of meditation as just closing your eyes and sitting in quietly, but it looks like you can find God by painting. And you obviously do because you're able to express it on the you know screen there. So right. that's uh, that's a true thing. So you are telling me that it's definitely a spiritual experience for you. Is that right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Meditative. Meditative. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Because I feel when I when I work, I keep on working on laptop or somewhere, and my my head is like a, it's like <laughs> so much stress, like as if some someone has hold <laughs> holding my hair holding my hand so when i start painting all my stress goes away and uh, it gives me a feeling of freshness again oh wonderful 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 well there we go now we know why you paint <laughs> so, uh, so what advice you know you are the candidate uh, that most indians would like their kids to be an engineer who is super talented at the arts or other things so what advice might you have for young people who might uh, want to become artists, but uh, mom, dad say you become a doctor or an engineer. <laughs> yeah, uh, my advice is like, uh, follow your passion. See, if you feel like you don't have time to do, you, if you have a passion, you will find out a time for that. So this is what I am doing. My advice is like, do what you like to do but for, like we are changing for uh, like parents like us we i think we will allow our kids to follow whatever way they want to do <laughs> no stress on them uh, but yeah if still someone wants like uh, to get some other uh, technical education i'll just tell them to like enjoy whatever you want to do and uh, follow your passion and do it from heart whatever you want to do yeah. I think the world has now changed so that it's really, you can do everything in a together way, right? I mean, you right. know, whether we are doing engineering, presentations are needed, you know, we need to know our color for our PowerPoints or whatever else that you're doing. And so, and video and, you know, audio and presentations and all of these needs art and the other way around. So there's right. no more, um, you know, boundaries, I think. Yes. So. But I'm glad you will allow your child to be a full-time artist. I'm very pleased to hear that. <laughs> so, you know, and many artists who have become that always say it was my mother who encouraged me to do that. And I think that's, that's, that's really fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time, Nishiji. We really appreciate it. And uh, you're going to be doing a workshop, I'm told. 
So could you give us a little peek? preview into yeah. what that is going to be so uh, i'm i'll be teaching a very like basic uh, acrylic painting it's a like fall season painting a rainy day on a fall season and uh, it's like uh, uh, it very colorful i love colors like if someone says me what's your favorite color i say rainbow <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow is my favorite color. I so know, I know. Really, very fall, colorful fall colors. And uh, uh, I'll be doing that uh, on 16th August. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I was going to say, you know, when we come to this country, they ask you those questions. What is your favorite color? And I'm like, what do you mean favorite color? Every color is, you know, I just used to make that up. You know, it's like, okay, I'll give red or blue or green, but everything is beautiful. It's in the context in which it is placed, right? Like, so yeah. that it becomes beautiful. <laughs> Fall is my favorite season in the New England. It's really beautiful here. So I look forward to seeing what is coming out of that. And hopefully there'll be some pieces that come get submitted to the India Art Competition. And uh, maybe yeah. some winners might come out of that as well. Yeah. Thank you, Nishiji. And we look forward to your future artworks. And if there is a spiritual piece that is coming out, we do a little naman to that. And thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you.